You can download the art seen in the video for free, link in the description. First, we will add a character body 2D. This will be our pathfinding character. Inside, we will add a sprite, set its texture to the art atlas, downloaded link in the description. Change the filter to nearest as we are using pixel art. Then, enable region, hit edit region, scroll in with the mouse wheel, and select the character. We will then offset the character by negative 8 on the Y axis. This is so the feet are at the bottom. Add a collision shape 2D. Make sure to set its shape to a circle. I will set the radius to 5. We use a circular collision shape as when this character is moving towards its goal. We need to ensure that instead of getting stuck on walls and stopping, it will instead roll around them and continue to its destination. Next, we will add a navigation agent 2D node. This will house all the brains for the pathfinding. Inside, take a note of the path desired distance and the target desired distance properties. We will set both of them to 3 pixels. Path desired distance is the amount of leeway in pixels that we allow the character body AI to be from each point in the path to count it as the character body AI passing. The lower the pixels are, the closer the character body AI must be to each point on the path. Target desired distance is the same however this is only for the final point on the path. Next change the path post processing to edge centered. With path post processing corridor funnel is the shortest possible path whereas edge centered is the shortest possible path but the path is centered between the walls of the pathfinding area. This means that for a game with tiles corridor funnel will have the path that touches the walls of the tiles whereas edge centered will have the path be between the wall tiles. Next if you want the red line that was seen at the beginning of the video go to debug and hit enable. Then in the top left go to debug and enable visible paths. Finally save the scene and add a script to the character body 2D. Inside, we will define a constant for the movement speed. We will then define an export variable for the goal. This export will be used to define which node we want this AI to move towards. We use an export variable. This is so we don't have to rewrite the path to the goal node if we ever move it around in the scene tree. Inside of the built-in ready function, we will set the target position of the navigation agent to the goal's global position. Inside of the physics process function, we will first check if the navigation agent has already reached its goal. If not, then we will establish a variable to store the direction to the closest navigation point. We will first grab the point in the navigation agent, then we normalize it. Normalize it will make the vector 2 that is returned have a maximum of 1 and a minimum of negative 1 in both axes, while still retaining the direction towards the point. We do this so that we can apply speed without the issue of speed changing depending on the distance of the point. Additionally, we use two local so that the position provided is localized. This will basically deal with any node offsets that could alter the position of the points from the navigation agent. Next, we'll make velocity equal to the navigation point direction multiplied by speed. Then we multiply Apply that by delta and call move and slide. To finish this pathfinding script off, we can add a timer node for updating the path. Enable one shot, then go to node, signals, double click the timeout signal and connect it to the character body 2D. Inside, we'll check if the target position of the navigation agent is different to the goal's global position. This simply ensures that we don't recalculate a path that has already been calculated. Then we set the target position. Finally, we restart the timer. Keep in mind that calculating new paths is expensive, so for the sake of performance, keep it to a minimum. Additionally, also make sure that you only restart the timer when needed. Alternatively, you could set the target position inside of this character body whenever the goal is moving inside of the goal script rather than running a looping timer. This all simply just depends on your game. When putting this node inside of a scene, make sure you set the exported goal variable. We can use the navigation region 2D node. Create a new navigation polygon. I will make sure that grid snap is enabled to help with drawing the line for the polygon. Make sure the green create points button is selected, then click around to create the polygon. Keep in mind that this polygon will be the area that the AI uses to calculate its path within. After creating the shape, you can use the blue button to move the individual points, and you can use the red button to remove them. Make sure that when changing the navigation polygon that you bake it so it updates. Next, select the navigation polygon dropdown, go to agents, and set the radius to 5. Then select bake. This variable will change the size of the unpathable edge of the polygon. This can be useful to avoid the character body AI getting too close to collidable edges in your game. If you are using a tile map, go to the navigation layers and add an element, then select paint, go to select a property editor and select the navigation layer and add it to all the walkable floor tiles. The navigation agent will use this information to know where it can place its pathfinding to reach its target position. Just make sure that the character body AI begins on one of these floor tiles, as otherwise it won't be able to calculate a path due to the navigation agent not being within a region that has navigation collision.